Hey, how to guy? What? What now? You need to record another video. Your viewers are waiting. I'm kind of busy at the moment. We don't have time for that. Hey, I'm Mavic Pro. Stop playing with that. You're going to hurt yourself. Okay, let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's another episode of the How To Guy. Today we're going to be looking at this camera, the Osmo Action. It's a cool camera. If you already have an Osmo Action, you're in luck. We're going to do some cool B-roll today. If you don't have an Osmo Action, you can use this with the Osmo Pocket. You can use these techniques with all the new GoPros. I'm going to try to shoot a film only using the Osmo Action and I'm going to show you along the way how I do it, what kind of techniques I use. You should watch the whole video because there's a few little tidbits of information that you might miss if you skip to the end. Don't you hate those people who skip videos? How outrageous. Anyway, I don't think you're one of them. At the end of this video, I'll show you the video. We've been getting a lot of comments on this channel and I'm really happy to say that it's slowly growing. There's a lot more interest, a lot more comments. These are some people that have recently subscribed. I'd like to thank you all. Hopefully you can pause this and see your name. If you can't, well, then hit me up in a comment and say you missed me. But for the rest of you, comment, like, subscribe. And let's get going with this B-roll of the Osmo action and show you the process. So I have this idea to use my motorbike and sort of have a short scene of me coming back and the camera seamlessly moving throughout the scene. So let's do the first scene. I need to mount the camera behind me and this motorbike doesn't really have any clamping system or anything I can use. I've used the GoPro chest strap. So here's the GoPro chest strap and hopefully it'll close. I have a little mounting that I can put the Osmo action on to get a cool perspective shot. Hopefully this thing closes otherwise it's going to wobble while I'm riding. Time to shoot the first scene of this video. You can see I've got it mounted. This is just an intro. It's going to be like five seconds. Remember safety first. Put a helmet on. The next scene I want to film is actually walking from the motorbike and I want to do like a low angle shot. Now I've got a little trick for you to show you how to do that. This is a small selfie stick, right? Get another selfie stick with a tripod mount on at the end and with a ball head and rotate that 90 degrees. Do you see where I'm going with this? Then screw in the other part. Now you have a camera that drops down and you can hold it from this side because it shoots upside down. The next scene requires a little bit of creativity with this garage door. I'm going to try and strap it to the garage door so it looks like the camera is being raised up with the garage door. So I clamped this on in order to get a decent shot of the garage and I got a little bit close. What do you think of that? The next scene that I want to shoot is actually like a barbecue scene of me picking up the barbecue and doing a little bit of b-roll. I'm going to show you a trick of how you can make this look pretty cool. A very extreme close-up on your eyes and as you look right you'll rotate the camera and look towards the barbecue at which point you'll zoom into the barbecue. It'll be like your gaze is actually guiding the camera towards the center of the next scene. Have a look. This last scene is pretty easy to do. We're going to film sort of a wide angle shot of me at the barbecue. Then we'll film it as you're opening the barbecue and show you the perspective from the Osmo action or from the fire. And then we'll do a few little tricks to get a little bit of B-roll. And that should be a pretty cool little video. Guys, have a look at the video. Tell me what you think. If you like it, please hit the subscribe button. It's awesome. Every new subscriber we're getting. So please watch the video. 